you get the gist of what's happening I'm just basically pouring cooking oil in So this is probably the best time to actually make this video after not having uh, any videos for a few uh, months really. Fuel prices! Jesus Christ, they're so expensive! Diesel at certain places I've seen is £2 a litre! £1.99.9! So I'm not going to pay that and I'm going to try some of it because this has got an old mechanical diesel pump. Um, not, it's not common rail, it's not a high pressure system. I've got a feeling that I can get fuel for this van considerably cheaper. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna to drive to Tesco's. I haven't been using a long time this. It's just been parked up, will it start? Oh, it always fires into life, this thing. Oh, we need some fuel. Oh. Now if you remember, I actually bought this van for about a hundred quid off a smackhead from uh, Manton in Workshop and I've had this van for a long time and my wife keeps saying, and everyone keeps saying, why have you still got that van? I very rarely drive it, like I said, it's not been driven in months, I mean brakes are rusted up and when I'm braking now I can hear from all rust. But the thing is with this van, it starts every time. The old 1.9 diesel engine in this, it's slow as oh, I've got my foot planted to the floor, and I'm struggling. But, it, like I say, it starts every time, without fail. I can chuck little one's quad bike in, which is in back now. So if you're after a van, what no one's really going to nick, because no one wants to be seen dead in it, then buy a Bolingo 1.9 diesel. You'll have no mates, so you won't even need to worry about passing your seat. You'll have rattles and everything. But as a van goes, this van starts every time and I will trust it to take me everywhere. Feel the power. My foot is actually planted, as you can see. I'm not going very fast. I'm actually doing 30 in a 30. I can't physically speed. And if this runs on cooking oil, then it's even better because it's gonna be a pound a litre or one pound now. I've just been looking at prices. You can get five litres in Tesco's for £5.30. Now, I don't know which oil to go for. We're not going to run it on olive oil, it costs too much. And literally, I'm, 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 I'm going to rock up at Tesco's, film buying it, and go outside, set the camera up on a tripod, which I've got with me, yep. And I'm going to pour it in there and then. And then I'm going to drive five mile by i don't know if i'm going to make it to tesco's with fuel situation and then i'm going to drive back and if i break down i break down you know no one's going to nick an hundred pound van what don't run the cat's worth about five quid on it so we're at tesco's and uh, let's go and see uh, what cooking oil there is Welcome to Tesco's, where every little helps. Um, other supermarkets are available. Aldi's are roughly the same price, actually. So, uh, yeah, we've got this flora stuff here, which is mega money. We're not going to put that in. Uh, £3.25 for three litres. I don't think that would be too bad. Um, there's basically vegetable oil or sunflower oil. Now, if you look at the vegetable oil, I'll just check it up now. The viscosity is quite thick. Um, Oh, I've dropped it. Sorry, Tesco's. Sunflower oil is actually a, a lot less thicker, so it's thinner, duh. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go for sunflower oil. Now, with, with Tesco, just always remember you could actually get free fuel as well because when you use that club card, every quarter you're going to get your club card points back. So, uh, Remember that, people. And Tesco, if you want to sponsor this video, please get in contact. Don't think they do. But um, let's get us cooking on our lunch trolley and uh, let's go and smash it in the van. 
I don't know if you can see because the LED light board, but it's one pound seventy three point nine at uh, local Tesco fueling station. Um, sunflower oil were one pound nine. So let's go whack it in and see if van works. And this is another good thing about having an hundred quid smackhead van. You just don't care. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got this cooking oil. We'll pour it in. Should have brought like a nozzle or something, but hey ho. It'd been slightly cheaper, I reckon, if we got uh, bigger the quantity. Hey. It's cleaner than diesel. Put that in the back. You get the gist of what's happening. I'm just basically pouring cooking oil in. Is this more environmentally friendly? Not having to buy Putin's diesel now, are we? If this works, that is. You just picks up as you go shopping. Right, so that's five litres of sunflower oil. <laughs> for best results, only use for deep frying two to three times, then discard. See, actually, if you know someone who owns a chip shop, as long as they're not cooking beef dripping, then uh, fail. And you might be able to get this for free, so bear that in mind. Please. And remember, always put your bloody trolley back. Otherwise, you end up having to go to Aldi and use a pound. If, if Tesco's, just put your bloody trolley back. Don't you look good? Not. Sorry, Tesco's. I saw a little bit. Right now, I'm not going to feed you full of rubbish and go, oh, will it start? Of course it'll start, because it's still got diesel in the fuel lines. It'll take a minute or two for it to switch over onto uh, cooking oil. So I'm not gonna go, oh, will it start? Because I know it will start. Watch it not start. <laughs> oh, and it fired up nicely. Right, I'm going to put you back on the uh, mount so it's legal to drive and I'll keep you updated with the uh, five mile drive home. It gives a minute for it to run through and um, yeah. Now one thing I can say is the van with that low on fuel, that's actually, I've put five litres in and the gauge amp moved. So that'll move as I go along once it's uh, figured itself out. Still sound same. Let's go. Let's see uh, how far it'll take us. One pound nine a litre versus one pound seventy something a litre, or depends on where you live. I mean, in Cleethorpes, I recorded two pound a litre. One seventy three point nine versus one one pound nine. So if you do maths over 10 litres, let's say, it's a big saving, a very big saving. Right, fuel gauge is moving up now. But yeah, it's, it's just driving as it should. It's quite, it's quite ironic really. I've just seen a lad walking down the street with a bottle of cooking oil. One litre, youngest lad. I hope you don't think his motorbike's gonna run on it. I'll go this way home, because at least if we break down on this way, 
there's lay-bys and it, it, to be fair it's a nice open road so you can do um, I think speed limit's 50 on it this van won't go 50 but one, 109 a litre oh ho I'm gonna be quids in I'm gonna be using this from now on I'm gonna have to clean it everything seems all right it's just driving normal not making the slightest difference at all can i notice any smoke out of the back now can't see any smoke you've heard that saying before if you haven't you'll hear it now no smoke no poke this has no poke and it definitely don't have any smoke but it's, it's just driving normal I have no anxieties about this though because I know this van holds drive anywhere you could probably pee in tank in this van and it'll still run good old 1.9 diesel old fashioned, slow but it'll start every time I mean I'll be honest with you I thought about getting rid of it for about 5 seconds and then I thought no I can't it's too good it's even better now it runs on cooking oil acceleration's exactly the same no difference we are now running on cooking oil 100% this is running on cooking oil now the distance we've travelled time we're definitely running on cooking oil so I'll update you um, in a few more miles just a quick question do you think environmentalists would say this is a better option because you're not drilling for it it's growing it's capturing carbon yeah you are releasing carbon but you'd release carbon anyway with diesel so sunflowers grow they capture carbon the seeds get squashed into oil and then it goes in the Bolingo tank do you reckon it's environmentally better comment down below tell me what you think and if you are new around here please like and subscribe I am posted many videos recently due to family bereavements uh, and a career change and just everything just went a bit cockeyed if you know what I mean it went a bit haywire so yeah, please like and subscribe and just comment, is it more environmentally friendly? And I nearly missed my turning then. I've done a few more miles. I'm nearly home. I went longer way around because it's... I just wanted to try it really. <laughs> Everything's same. It runs exactly the same. There isn't any difference. I mean, this, this pulled into Tesco's car park on fumes well it wouldn't be in fumes because it's a diesel they don't run on fumes but um yeah it, it was about ready to to conk out and die but it's working one pound nine a litre at costco you'll be able to get cheaper at costco now here's my reckoning behind it why i did it not only to create a video about it but also because this is an old-fashioned diesel engine it's got a mechanical distribution pump not a high pressure pump the injectors are like dripping nozzles basically they don't have pulsators on it if you know what I mean like a modern injector does and if I'm right in believing the original diesel engine who were designed by this guy I'll put his name down here he actually designed it to run on vegetable oil that's what I've heard I'll do a bit of research and I'll post links if it is true smell wise it just it just smells like a mouldy old van there's no difference in smell no difference in power idles lovely I mean I'm, I'm rolling now and it's just it's just idling lovely maybe this is the future I can see probably in winter 
you might want to thin it out a bit we you know for every 10 liters maybe put a liter of diesel in or or something to thin it but in these warmer months we're coming into spring now it's like today it's been 15 degrees so it's t-shirt weather really if you're english or if you're down south you might need your big coat but up, up here we we call this t-shirt weather so what i'll do is i'll show you now like a bit of an acceleration should we say i've just gone onto a 50 road this is running purely on cooking oil now people they will be no more diesel around the bend if anyone wants to know this is attached to the steering wheel I'm not holding the camera that would be illegal but now this is actually just running now purely on cooking oil I wonder if he smells different on exhaust I'll pull over and find out does it smell any different it does it smells different. I mean, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be sniffing exhaust. <laughs> a, how do I spin this round? There's a woman walking a dog over there, and I bet she's like, "Why is the guy just got out of his van and he's sniffing exhaust?" <laughs> right, I'm gonna put you back on the uh, on tripod. <laughs> Next question you need to ask yourself, is it vegan? Silly question really, you're going to get these people who, who, who hate vegans, I don't have anything against them, it's their choice. But is this actually vegan? Because if you think about it, running a car on petrol or diesel, I don't think that would be vegan. Just because how much, how much aquatic life is killed when they're drilling it sea that's a good question so is diesel vegan i believe sunflower oil is vegan anyway let's stop talking about vegans let's talk about law and i will pull it up now and uh, i'll discuss the law about it is it legal to run on cooking oil now personally I think this is a win-win situation Ah! Getting attacked I think it's a win-win situation with this Diesel prices are high because of what's going off in Ukraine Whether you agree with Putin or you don't Innocent people are dying So I'm glad that we're not buying Or should not be buying Russian oil I have nothing against Russian people by the way it's, This is Putin's war, not Russian war um, I don't want to get into politics of it but it's a win-win by number one it's a one pound nine a litre you can get it cheaper and like i say if you know someone who's got a ship shop you'd have to filter that oil but you could use it so for me this is uh, like i say a win-win i'm not buying uh, any oil off putin uh, or, or our countries in any way or shouldn't be and i've got low fuel prices one pound nine again you could get it cheaper if you bought in bulk if i bought 20 litres it'd probably work out cheaper it does have a certain smell to exhaust but power wise it's same this van has no power anyway you can't make it any worse it'd stop so yeah anyway please like and subscribe and i'll uh if you've got any more questions about what what will the smackhead van run on um ask them in comments Thanks for watching people, take care.